you can't really see because they're silhouettes, but these cliffs are amazing. This is our anchorage between these massive, massive cliffs. So as we've gone from a Portuguese territory to a Spanish territory, we're now putting the Spanish flag back on and taking the Portuguese one off. Um, David's in his pants. Welcome back to the pants, back pants to show. <laughs> this is actually a massive milestone getting to the Canary Islands because from here we have to make a decision whether we go to the Cape Verdes, which is further south, or we just go from here across the Atlantic. Before this, it's always just been get to the next place, the next place, and now it's like, ah, oh, we actually have to really think about getting the boat ready, which is very exciting. The normal flag tire upper is asleep. There it is. We'll do it again. Sorry, Spain. You can't really see because they're silhouettes, but these cliffs are amazing. They're like layers and layers upon layers of different types of rock, real sharp. Ben's trying to work out what birds we're seeing. They're all just birds in this boat. <laughs> I think they're either gulls or something like that. They're tipped wings, black on the top, white on the bottom, but they look real cool. This book is from the 80s and all the photos are about three pixels. <laughs> Thank you, Will, for buying us this book. Yeah, it's thanks, useless. Will. We love it, we love it. It's a very hard game of Pictionary. <laughs> just sort of deciding what we're going to do next because there's not there's any wind for the next few days and where we're we going there's no shops no civilization it's just a real nice anchorage and as you know we have no way of cooking food <laughs> yeah there's three things that we need which are food petrol and wind <laughs> nearly so, all the three essentials if we've got water so we're all right on that front but not that that much we'll just make up as we go I think. yeah santa cruz um is further down the coast and you can anchor there oh, whoops you can anchor there by the looks of it, but it doesn't look very nice. Um, so we'll just go to this very picturesque place, see what it's like, and maybe stay there tonight, probably stay there tonight. That's another thing we need, we've got gas, I forgot about that one. Yeah, we, we have no <laughs> gas either, it's a <laughs> disaster. Hey ho. Not sure if you can see, but we're absolutely cooking along downwind, going about half, five, six knots, maybe even seven knots at some points. Just wing on wing. If only it was this the whole way. Maybe we found it. I feel like they were brown though, you know. It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> the time now is nearly three o'clock, so this has been just under four day passage. We left at six o'clock in the evening on the Monday. Shush, shush, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk, shush. With no hot meals, except for one lukewarm soup. <laughs> And the winds were so light the whole way. I think we averaged, well, our average at the moment is three knots. Um, so yeah, spinnaker was up basically the whole time, poodling along really slowly. It never died completely, like for a while, but yeah, that was one of our slowest sails ever, for sure. Correction. It's a Corey's sheer water, we reckon. A nice brownie grey top, black tips, white underside. You can't even correct us because you haven't even seen it, so you have to take our <laughs> word for so it. <laughs> well, we've got to go over there, but the wind isn't letting us, so we've got to change these sails around. Put them both on this side, probably. So, see you in a bit. Ta-da! <laughs> both the sails are on that side. Probably swap sides as well. It's getting a bit windy now. Yeah, we'll probably talk to you once we've anchored in uh, 10 minutes or so. Oh, we just hit seven knots. You missed it. Hey! hey. Seven knots. Just turned the corner. This is our anchorage between these massive, massive cliffs. There's three boats that we can see there. Can we go make some friends? This is silly. Look at this place. We're sharing it with a few other boats. But look. It's just massive cliffs around us. And the water looks nice and blue, so we're excited for a swim. We just saw our neighbour catch a fish with a rod, so I'm getting straight in there. Woo! Okay, so we've just been swimming around. 
We've just been swimming around for a second and we got to show you this. The water is the clearest we've ever swam in. Like, we're anchored, we're anchored in just over eight meters of water and it's like crystal clear, you can see the bottom, no worries. We'll take you in now and show you. clouds in the sky and stuff behind me that's very pretty anyway we're back this on the old dog food <laughs> on the old barbecue barbie on the go making dog food <laughs> we're making a nice lovely doll um we making... went through our cupboards we've got all these lovely tins tinned mackerel sardines all sorts of yummy things now that we caught them <laughs> we caught them these. We're gonna we're gonna make a big doll. Uh, I'm gonna go inside in a second and make some dough that David's gonna lovely, 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 lovely teach me how to make. That'll work. The coal the coals are very spitty. Because they're so small, they're ex exploding <laughs> everywhere. So. We are using a fan to get them going. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't show up on camera, but this is like. <laughs> <laughs> What are you making, Benjamin? Here, here's some dough. Nice big dough ball. Uh, it's going to be flatbreads. Chapati. Sorry, I can't film and hold this ball for Fucking A! Ah! Hold it! <laughs> Bit more! <laughs> oh, <my God>! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Don't do that! As you know, we've got a hell of a lot to sort out. Um, we need diesel, we need propane, we need food, we need water, we need showers. Basically everything, this boat's empty. So there's two marinas that we can see in Tenerife. One of them is the further north one, which is the one we're going to. The reviews say this one's the cheaper one, so that's why we're going to that one. The other one says it's expensive, so we're not even bothering even trying. Look at it. And we've got a whole welcoming party. So we're just pulling into Marina Tenerife. Um, he said on the phone to radio him on channel 9 and he'll tell us where we are. We've radioed him several times and then we haven't had a response. So then we tried to phone him and he didn't pick up. So, <laughs> oh, I just hear it on the radio. He's talking on the radio. There she is, sitting nice and pretty. Pontoon G, spot seven. We're in a nice spot, but getting out is going to be horrendous tomorrow. Yeah, have a look. It looks bigger on the GoPro, but we've got to somehow reverse ourselves in there, spin the bow around, Our and get out. Doesn't reverse. Ah, oh, dear. We can't reverse, so we're going to have to try it out. Well, we can reverse, but we can't reverse straight. But we'll attack that when it comes. Getting in was. All right, yeah, we've fine. had smoother, but it was but if, fine. If he didn't have the line, we'd have bossed Yeah, he did up. sort of tug our bow right around. But, you know, we're in and we're safe and there's no marks on the boat. No, no new ones, at least. We are four English boys in a Spanish park eating, well, they were baguettes. Si. Now they're max, doing, now they're max doing, you've, you've seen this. You have seen this. Look how lovely this is. It's beautiful, we're going to do some wandering, go get some jobs done. We were going to come check in. Uh, we were going to go check into the country. Still haven't. Shut, closed. Spanish, after 2pm, bedtime. So, yeah, we're not. And tomorrow's a Sunday, so we still won't. Um, we'll do it when we get to Gran Canaria. It's a bit loud. We've done our shopping. In preparation to go to Gran Canaria, we've been for a beer as well, if you can't tell by my eyes. And then we've just come across a rally. Can I got my shoulders. 
I'll go on your shoulders. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go on David's shoulders. One sec. Here's a Porsche. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm up here now. I don't. I still don't know what's going on up here. <laughs> it hasn't made anything much clearer. Still cars. Still a rally. Still in Spanish. Yeah. Go on. Okay, we're back at the marina in uh, Santa Cruz. Well, just just north of Santa Cruz. We've got to somehow get out of this space. It looks big on camera, but because of how long keel and the boat make, like when you're reversing, the boat just does what it wants. It doesn't really, you can't really control which way you're going, which is a bit scary. So we're trying to work out how to get out of this spot. This space is about 12 meters, 13 meters, and the boat itself is 10 meters, so bit worried but we'll see how it goes yeah you're recording cool that's me at the end of my tether uh, yeah you got enough there yeah i got plenty yeah Ready to undo it, Ben? You're good. You got so much space. Good job. Whoa, epic boating, brother. We got all the sails out. We're doing about 3.8, happily. Flying. Upwind sailing, baby. Upwind sailing, we're back. Uh, we are slowing down slightly. No, we're not. We're fine. 3.6. We're good. We're good. We were, we still are doing like three and a half knots. We're killed a bit over. The boys are now having a standing up competition. You can stand up the longest. Highbrow <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> we were trying to sleep. We can't sleep, so we're standing up. Whoa! Oh, that was a close one. We've also gone through our shift patterns. Um, we're doing them slightly differently. Normally we do them every, well, we are doing three hours, but normally do them from like three to six, six till nine, nine, twelve, whatever. Uh, we left at five, so we're doing them an hour early. Still three hours each. William's on now. I'm on at two in the morning until five in the morning. Wilf and David are doing the six hours on during the traffic separation scheme. So they're going to be dealing with all sorts of big cargo ships and stuff. Uh, ben was talking about the bat bat. <laughs> By then the wind will probably yeah. die down as well. So we'll probably be motoring, which will make things easier for us because we can just go in any direction. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you'll see that when it comes. Have we explained the AIS breaking? I don't know. Have we explained the AIS breaking? The well, AIS doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! The AIS doesn't find any GBS anymore for some reason. We've checked the wire for the antenna. It all looks fine. There doesn't seem to be any sort of, there's been no like nicks, no like, so we have no idea. It doesn't think that there's an antenna attached is the so, problem. So how, which, we, we don't guess, know. 